Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jean. And this is going to be a collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, Hi guys, let's see what's going on. Sorry, okay. Before, I recorded a lot of readings tonight. I don't know, a lot of people are like, I post everything I record. Like, I don't, okay? Because it was like the same old, same old energy, okay? Uh, luckily, the previous readings are, I, I posted on my other channel, like, new energies came through, like, kind of new. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Maybe just for transparency reasons. I don't know. Anyway, um... Because I feel like may maybe I should speak on this. Like, it's this energy of, like, listen, if you keep receiving the same energy in, in tarot readings or whatever, the reason is you. Okay? <laughs> like, quite honestly, because tarot readers read energy, okay? So if you keep receiving the same old, same old story, it's because you're stuck in a cycle, okay? And I'm not shitting you out or anything because, like, you know... Like, uh, um, been there as well, sometimes still is there, so just be aware of that, okay, 111, like, it really is about, like, radical self-responsibility, right, we need, we create everything in our reality, so, that being said, one, two, three, maybe I should be looking, yeah, uh, Princess of Cups, maybe I should be looking into how can we expand beyond that, like, continuous, like, same old, same old energy, how can we expand beyond that, okay, so the seven of, seven of Cups, yes, because we have choice. <clears throat> we have options. We are not um, subject to fate. We are not subject to any kind of anything. We have choice. Six of Wands, as I'm saying that, yes, indeed, I'll do. And the King of Cups, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Again, like some kind of emotional, spiritual maturity, um, if we are, if we are to, if we are to embody, like, an actual divine being with this hermit, as I'm saying that as well, um, we need to have this radical self-responsibility. This is kind of touching on that energy of, like, if your twin flame rejected you, you rejected them as well, you know, if you believe in twin flames, etc. Um, so I do feel like perhaps we are coming into a period currently, um, of this spiritual and emotional expansion, okay? Perhaps we are finally, like, releasing ourselves from this confusion of consistent two, three, four, consistent same old, same old, which left us confused, like, why the into a more victorious, self-empowered state. Even though the King of Cups isn't really about self-empowerment, to me it is, okay? Emotional and spiritual self-empowerment. So I feel like I feel like a lot of us are maturing very intensely. A lot of us are maturing spiritually and emotionally at, at, at like our core levels, because I feel like I brush my teeth. <laughs> um, because I feel like we are taking a lot of um, emotional and spiritual action. Okay, I feel like a lot of people watching me are in this like real desire to heal, not just to be fed bullshit, not just to be fed the same. Um, energy over and over again, and I feel like because of that, we are going to be be receiving newness, yeah? The Ten of Wands, yeah, like, okay, so first of all, it was definitely a burden. Three, 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 I feel like a lot of people, if you resonate with this reading, you might have felt burdened because you kept reliving the same thing over and over again, or you kept asking a question and you kept receiving the same reading, three, four, five, maybe even from personal readings, etc. But the Ten of Wands also speaks of ascension, so definitely there is a... a uh, uh, a difference. Definitely there is a change happening, but this is our choice, okay? It is our choice in whether we want to take that self-responsibility onto ourselves to change up our lives, to change up our narratives, because collectives are the narratives of the collective. They're your narrative, right? So if your energy stays the same, the messages you receive are going to be the same, yeah? Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune, yay! We are really going into something brand new here. We are really going into something more, much, much, much more beautiful. All of a sudden, though, boy, this Wheel of Fortune is giving me the sense of, like, there's nothing new under the sun. So maybe we kind of do need to accept the fact that, okay, you know, some, like, like cycles are a part of life. Um... You know, we always kind of come back to the same thing, 444, just from a higher perspective. But I feel like this higher perspective does change the narrative. It does change the cycle. This higher perspective does change the way things are perceived, okay? And when things are perceived differently, 456, 
when things are perceived differently, and I'm being drawn to quantum physics, um, then the state changes. If, if we perceive differently, the thing changes into something different, okay? I've been getting a lot of, like, creator consciousness and, like, you know, stuff like that. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Mm. That gave me an interesting vibe here. That gave me an... In what did I just feel? <clears throat> Because I heard not being alone, like not going at this alone, okay? But I feel like, I feel like maybe, maybe there's a little bit of a codependency here as well. Um, interesting because I was also just thinking of this. Brum, brum. Um, maybe there's a little bit of a codependency, um, on always wanting like some kind of outside force like tarot readings and stuff like that 555 five, five, uh, needing to tell us what to do what to believe what to think okay you, we might not always think this but like the ego can be very tricky right especially if we're not putting in and i'm not saying this is you i'm not saying you're doing this i'm just saying if we're not putting in the emotional and spiritual effort um we can become codependent on comfortable cycles interesting yes i can i think that's a good way of saying that ten of pentacles three of wands and the eight of swords reverse yes in order for us to have this like new earth abundance in order for us to have new cycles to have expansion beyond our current cycles we need to release our own mental blocks that we create for ourselves yeah this this does take a lot of responsibility and i know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep saying responsibility magician because that is what it is all about <sighs> The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I started investing in something else. Um, I, I even noticed, like, I even noticed that, like, I, um, I think I shared this a while ago as well. Um, but, like, again, I found myself in the cycle again. So, you know, like, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just, like, sharing the energy because I, too, am a human doing these things, right? But I found myself, once again, like, needing to stop watching other tarot readers, for instance, because I feel myself falling not into a codependency necessarily, but into this cycle of, um, like, kind of, like, reliving the same old energy over and over again. In some way, even taking up the energy of other tarot readers, and that's just not how it's supposed to be, right? So I'm feeling this need to start investing in something different. I'm feeling this need to start doing something different, like maybe get getting new hobbies or instead of listening to too many tarot readings, like listening to a podcast or that sounds boring, but like an interesting podcast or something like that. The Queen of Swords, I feel like that's the truth, yeah? I feel like we have to set in some kind of, like, inner boundaries. <clears throat> we have to set some kind of inner boundaries with ourselves and gain some kind of clarity in regards to what we are allowing into our mind space because what we are allowing into our mind space is what is keeping us in certain cycles or creating new cycles because it's all about the mind, it's all about the energy, right? So again, and I feel like this Queen of Swords being so harsh, I'm getting something about a Libra. Because the Queen of Swords energy can be harsh, or it can seem harsh, rather, it can seem cold. This is also a very, like, dush energy. Like, very, like, very independent and very self-sufficient. So, kind of Nine of Pentacles vibes, but, like, even more so, right? But also very clear and very cutthroat in regards to... um mental space. I kind of lost my train of thought there. Anyway, and the nine of wands reverse. I just felt like somebody was, I just felt like, yeah, princess of pentacles. Yeah, some kind of new hobby. I just felt like some, I, I, I just felt a weird energy. Empress reverse. I just felt a weird energy. Queen of pentacles, six of swords, ten of pentacles, the star, the hierophant. Anyway, um, if you have been battling if you have been battling like the same cycle over and over and over again, quite honestly, I feel like it might be because there is 
a little bit of a lack of inner boundaries, okay? And again, I'm not judging. This is something I've been experiencing myself as well, or that's something I have experienced myself, okay? If you have been feeling like you have been battling the same old thing over and over and over again, it's because you need to have, like, much more... Um, of a clear sense of what it is that you're really allowing. I know I said this. L let me just continue. <laughs> I don't want to keep repeating myself. The Ace of Wands. Yes, we need a new understanding. We need something new. Brav. We need something new to come into our lives. But the only way that newness can come in is by us creating it, by us manifesting it. So how do we do this? We start with the intention because that's how magic starts. That's how creation started. That's how God created shit, right? By with his intention. Okay, let us make man in our image. He had an intention. Um yeah, I feel like that is what we need to be doing. And I'm hoping that perhaps this reading will assist us in doing that so that we don't continuously do and experience and say and believe the same things over and over again. Yeah, Seven of Swords, because that's a matrix trap. That's a deceptive thing happening, okay? It's meant to keep us in a certain state of um, feeding something else. <sighs> 11 11 yes <laughs> uh prince of pentacles reverse two of swords reverse and the two of pentacles Ugh. and the star okay that's an, a little bit of an icky energy like you um because i did i did kind of get a sense that this queen of swords the hyphen i did kind of kind of get this energy that this queen of swords had some kind of effect on the reading for some reading but like from an outside perspective or something okay Six of Swords, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Swords. Anyway. I feel like there's a need to stop juggling this choice. Listen, if you're comfortable in your cycles, by all means, move along, okay? But if you are not comfortable with having the same stale energy continuously entering your field, uh, continuously being fed the same stale energies, uh, you need to stop juggling yourself. You need to stop juggling the, 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 the intention of putting in the intention of having something new come towards you, okay? Um, I don't want to end it with this energy though. Two, two, two. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get three other cards. <laughs> Hopefully, it's gonna be better. Um, I mean, I actually feel like that was sufficient. But hey, I already shuffled. So yeah, the Hierophant, the Star, beautiful, and the Prince of Pentacles reverse. Listen, like, okay, I'm getting just because, just because, like, other people are doing something, or just because, um. I don't know, maybe like the same old, same old is again quite comfortable. That doesn't mean that it's correct, right? That doesn't mean that it's going to lead to anything more profound. Yeah, I did feel this Queen of Swords had something to do with some kind of offer or something. <gasps> but whatever. There's just, there's just a need, there's just a need for us to like really look at life I, I kind of want to say even maybe through the eyes of God, again, if you've been feeling stagnant, if you've been feeling slowed down, if you've been feeling anything like that, it's because there is a need for like really intense personal inner boundaries and not boundaries with other people because you can't blame other people for doing the same thing over and over again. You're experiencing it because of your own inner lack of boundaries or your own inner lack of clarity, okay? So I feel like that is sufficient. Like I also do need to say that like, again, just putting in this attention will create forward movement and will create <coughs> a lack of the stagnation or lack of this slowness for you. And it will lead to like a very intense, like spiritual knowledge or a very intense spiritual um, embodiment of life or something like that. So just be aware of that. I think, I think that's a good message. I'm going to take that for myself as well. For shizzles, of course. Thank you so much collective. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing and we'll see you again for another one. So bye.